I appear to have gotten myself into some trouble. <laughs> so, um, this is a mutant dust doctor, if you can't tell. Um, so, I'll go over what we were doing last time in just a moment. Uh, I'll go over, like, specifics, but... Oh, there was the death. I lasted quite a bit longer than I was expecting to. So, um... <laughs> Yeah, that was a whole mess I got myself into. It, it was worse before... I, no, it wasn't worse. I was actually handling myself a little bit better because I got caught in a cobweb and I was like pressed up against a wall and I was just managing to fend everything off somehow. And then I hit, and then I hit start recording and then instantly everything went from bad to worse very quickly. But um, anyways, hello everybody. My name's Ardendris and welcome back to Ruby M World of Blocks. Last time, we were working with the Shinjufu mod, and also just went ahead and made a slash blade. I see you over there. Oh, you're actually making your way around the village. So this is our little testing dummy, uh, Knuckle Levy. He might, it might have escaped and made its way over here. I'm probably going to have to kill this one off at this point. I'm sorry, testing dummy, but you're getting a little unruly. You have to go. But, um, anyways... Uh, yeah, last time we were working on the Shinjufu mod, we made these nice clothes. I thought that looked weird, like I wasn't wearing anything for feet to stuff when I should have been. Sorry, friend. Oh. We were working on Shinjufu, we made this, we made... Oh, excuse me. We put together some of the, like, starting stuff, we have some of the starting crops growing up. All that's well and good. We made like a little hut over here where I put like a little kitchen together for the Shinjufu stuff. And all that's going well there. Haven't done much else besides that. I looked and I looked a little bit more into it between episodes, however, I was watching some of the guide things. And I found this thing, it's a futon. If you you can sit on it and it will give you regen and you just you you just sit on the cute little futon. So uh that's pretty nice. I just made a green one because that's the most girl wool I have. But um yeah, that's about all I did. I grew a little bit more of this stuff. The tea, the tea tree was actually ready to gather, so I gathered some of that. Well, I guess I have some peppercorns now, too, that can go in here. And all is well and good. But uh, you caught me as I was exploring one of the lost cities over there. Because, basically, I was hoping that in one of the random chests I would be able to get an admiral stamp. Because, like, I'm still really figuring out how to make all of this stuff. Like, a lot of it's pretty simple. You use woods and stuff, or you grow some of their crops, and then you use their special things, like the cooktops and the stockpots that we have already set up, and you turn the special crops into cloth or something like that. Or there's, uh, there's a fermentation barrel to make miso and soy sauce and all this cool stuff. I've watched some videos on all that, so I know some of the basics, none of the particulars yet, because I haven't actually done anything else yet. But uh, the one thing that is never explained in any of those videos is this stuff. Like the really cool armor and weaponry and stuff that all requires ammo and crafting orders. Which require the Admiral Stamp, which you can't make, and none of the videos explain how to find it. Or where to get it. You have to go searching through the change logs, and one line in one of the change logs tells you that you can find the Admiral Stamp in an abandoned mine shaft. That is the only info on this thing. All of the rest of the wiki is about the food stuff. All of the videos are about the food stuff and the block stuff, I suppose, but yeah. It's it's a little difficult to find the information you need when it's not given. So uh I thankfully know where there's an abandoned mine shaft. I was hoping I would be able to find one in there because it uses random loot chest things. But uh, somewhere in the village, it's somewhere like attached to one of the cave systems that this ravine touches, is an abandoned mine shaft. So I'm going to be hopping down there in just a moment, trying to see if I can't find anything. But I have some inventory stuff to deal with, and I want to fix sharpness white. I don't quite remember how to do that. Uh, yeah, I have to refamiliarize myself with how to fix the sword, and uh, before I head down there. But I want to do that first after I deal with inventory stuff. So I'll see you in just a second. 
Okay, I think I can do this right now, actually. Oops, hit my mic stand. So, uh, I was sort of familiarizing myself, looking at through some, like, crafting things, how to fix it. You can fix a blade by putting it in a crafting grid with any item, and then it will use some of the proud souls you acquire. Proud souls you acquire by beating enemies. It will use up some amount of the proud souls stored on the blade and the items that you put it with in order to re repair some of its durability. So it will go from 0 out of 70 to 64 out of 70, and it will lose 120... 100 and... Is that 28, I think? Yeah, 128. So, two Proud Souls per durability fixed. Okay. So that's all well and good. Then you could also do the same thing in here by putting it with a soul, or a proud soul, or a soul sphere, which we get for making our... Why did I get this first one? Did I get this when I made the first uh, anonymy wood? I don't remember. But anyway, this also refines it, makes it do a little bit more damage on the triple S and the limit. And also gives it extra Proud Souls while still repairing it somewhat. So that's all well and good. But I can actually upgrade the broken uh, broken blade into a proper slash blade if I put it with a block of coal, lapis, string, and uh, other stuff that I just looked at and I've already forgotten. Um, I used a blade sphere, blaze rod, gold, string... I still never went and gathered more iron. I forgot about that. And blaze rod. So I just need a crafting table real quick. Like so. That. Need to turn you into a block. That goes there. That goes there. This goes there. Like something's wrong. Oh, uh, this thing. And there we have the slash blade. It keeps the kill count and the proud soul and the amount of proud souls it has, but it is stronger. Yeah, you know, one extra damage in all three categories. Like so. Blade for slash. And it also looks quite a bit cooler. <laughs> da da da. Do I still do the uh Okay, I still do the little stutter step when I press B. More or less, it functions the exact same way. This isn't really anything special. But this sword is also sealed. And... I think I remember how to unseal it, but I don't remember exactly. I think I just named this thing. <laughs> um... No, that doesn't unseal it. Proud Souls... Also doesn't unseal it, but it would make it slightly stronger. Do I, like, name it something specific? Like, if I name it, try to name it Yamato, it doesn't get unsealed. I don't remember, actually. I'll have to look more into that one. Like, I thought I remembered how to unseal it. Like, I was just something about naming it, and then... I think you name it and then have to reach certain requirements, maybe? I don't quite remember. It's been a while since I've properly played through this. So that's all well and good. I now have a stronger blade, but I am still planning on heading underground because I want to see if I can't find a uh, admiral stamp in the mine shaft down here. Problem is, I don't quite remember where the mine shaft is. So, uh, is that it? Or is that... Aha, this is it. I see ya. Ba da doop and doop. Still gonna be using Murder Naster if it's something that I know will get take a lot more damage. But I'm just gonna run around in this place looking for chest. I'm probably gonna grab there some iron while I'm down here too. So uh yeah, I'm just gonna be running around underground. I'll see you once I have something to show for it, I suppose. So uh one sec. I more or less instantly ran into a mutant death stalker and died. And immediately broke Slashblade. <laughs> but, uh, you get 
every time your blade breaks, you do get extra proud souls, which is kind of nice. This thing actually has less durability. So, I could just put three more in with it. It will refine it, give it durability back. Do that a couple of times. It gets refined every time. And I'm just building up proud souls and refines in it. Well, I guess I didn't end up having to pick that thing up anyways. It just broke on its own. So that works. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I was underground for maybe, maybe three minutes. <laughs> like, not even. Like, that's probably pushing it. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'm well, once, once more onto the breach, I suppose. Oops, I, I'm going to get something to show for my work. Here's the culprit. How much damage did I actually end up doing to this thing? I'm not sure. Only like 200? That's kind of sad. But I did end up killing quite a few... Uh, I did end up killing a couple of the creeps with this thing. Did I just break my blade immediately again? I think I might have. These things just have so much health that the blades just can't stay alive long enough to deal with it, I suppose. So, uh... Yeah... There were a couple of mutant death, um, tiny death stalkers. I guess I actually managed to kill those successfully, though. So, uh, I'm just gonna try and escape from you now. Just gather up some of this stuff. And, uh, figured I'd just show off the run responsible. See if I can get some payback. Yeah, that broke immediately again. This time, I think it's time to pull out Shoshingo, don't, Shoshingu, don't you? Laden haunt. Laden haunt. Laden haunt. That's still. We're outside of the village. Whoops. You survived. Anything cool to show for it? Are those. What type of ears are those? I, I can tell they're ears, but I'm not sure of what variety. Yeah. Obviously, I'm outside of the village, so these things will actually blow up the rewards if I'm not careful. So, uh... Got it! You, lot, can go right away. I don't actually have to beat you. I I don't have to beat you. I just have to avoid you. So, uh, see ya! Anyways, we just got wolf ears. I thought those might have been wolf. How am I only getting wolf things? <laughs> If those were white wolves, white wolf ears, I would put those on immediately. But because they're orange, I'm a bit less sold on it. But anyways, I've left the mine shaft completely. I still have to explore and hopefully find the another chest with an admiral stamp in it. So, uh, I'll just see you in a little bit again. Okay. I just got a thing. Uh, I'm assuming I just, this just happened because I just... Uh, crossed over a rust, uh, proud soul barrier, or a threshold, rather. But I just got a special proud soul with thorns attached to it, and the Agito Rust Soul, with the SA Wave Edge. So, I believe that that means that this thing, if I name it Agito, and then I give it that thing... I think that's at least part of a step towards getting Agito, if I remember correctly. I don't know. The guides on... There's not much specific for, like, guides on how to do some of this stuff. But there's Agito, and then there's Agito Rust. Not a... Nameless? Slash Blade. Okay, where is... Hold on. Dios, Hardwood, Yamito... <laughs> Agito is made with Agito Rust and some stuff. Agito Rust and Proud Souls. Rust Blade can be fixed with Blade Souls. Rust Blade can make a Rust Blade. I don't... How do you get Agito Rust? I don't know. <laughs> all, of the, all of the recipes are just anonymy... Anonymity Nameless. Mixed with Anonymity Nameless will make a nom... Yeah, it's... Guide's not super helpful. Uh, mini Death Stalker. But, uh... I'm fairly certain that thing's important. I think that might be part of the step towards unsealing this thing. But, uh... I've just been exploring this mineshaft before I got that. This place is awful. 
This is just like an awful mineshaft. Ow, I can't hit the bird with this thing? Interesting. Oh, I have weakness. There's an apathy nearby. That's what that is. It... The slash blade does very little damage on its own. To the point where it's basically just like a million punches. And when you try to punch with weakness, you don't do damage. It doesn't even really connect. So it's following the same principle. But anyways, as I was saying before I got so rudely interrupted by this giant bird. This mineshaft sh sucks. It has two chests there. It has this tiny little segment down here that has a single chest in it. I'm not entirely sure what's past the uh, giant elephant that's in my way. But uh, so far, I'm, this place isn't looking too promising. Oh, I just... I was expecting to get bonked in the head there, but then I just didn't take damage. This is better, because you have built-in armor. So, more junk to just toss in here. I've collected a decent amount of iron, however. Ow. I do not think I'll be able to slash blade through all of your health. That is over... That's like 9,000 hits. That would take 10 years. So... I guess I'm going to be waiting for an aura to come back, and this guy's getting a lich steel to the butt. So, uh... I have whatever's past the Goliath is all that's left to explore in this place, and I have gotten like zero luck. There's like nothing, no chest or anything. So uh, I'm gonna try to make my way past this friend here. It's just gonna take me a little bit. I suppose I can slash blade while I wait for uh, Aura. So I'm just going to try and get past our giant friend here, and then I'll just see you once I finish exploring what's on the other side. Not looking too promising though. Wow, this mine system really does suck. <laughs> I actually managed to skate by our friend here by just like continuously slashing. Uh, it tried to hit me and then it was, and then I still knocked it like this and was able to just like pass by unscathed. So uh, I somehow did that. On the other side, dead end. <laughs> He's like, this just ends immediately, no other cutoff points. And then there's one tiny little, there's one little pathway right here that immediately, immediately, why am I, oh, apathy, blah, I was like, why am I so slow? It, there's, there's a turn here that looks like there might be something here, dead end, dead end, and would you look at that, dead end. Yeah, this place sucks. I am not getting my uh, Admiral stamp out of this place. I am apparently going to have to go look elsewhere if I want to get a hold of one of those. Maybe I've just gotten like really unlucky in the buildings and they can't have it. So I guess I can try exploring more of those. Ah, sorry. And uh, I, I really want one. I want to see what the rest of the uh, Shinjufu stuff is all about. Let's actually just sit down and I actually don't need to regen. I'm it's just being weird on the top left, as usual. So, uh, I have some inventory stuff to dump out. I'm gonna look more into the Russell thing. Like, I think I might need a Rust Blade. And then when I combine this thing with the Rust Blade, I might get Agito instead. Might be how it works. I have no idea. So, uh, yeah, more stuff to just, like, dump. And then, uh, I think I'm gonna look more into that and then I might head out to might head out on a little bit of adventure search through more buildings and then just like try jumping underground occasionally see if I can't find anything in any mine shafts so uh inventory first then we'll get up to other stuff okay so I'm back I've mostly dealt with in inventory stuff I just have some dirt and rock and cobblestone that I'm actually going to keep on me in case I need to repair the sword but um I also found a cool thing from Shinjufu that I want to make real quick. So, using a book and 10 experience points, you can write a random enchantment book. And it's pretty simple to make. It's just a stick, a paper, a slab, and a sumi, which is just a charcoal that you uh, break up into pieces. So, I have a little bit more iron and some wood. Smelt up. I'm going to make this thing just to see what a random enchantments we might get, because I'm curious. I just need a single stick, a slab, and a piece of paper. I have all that stuff just lying around. Just need to grab out paper from here. Where's my paper? 
Do I have it on me? I have it on me. Okay. So, just like so. I can't automatically just put it in there, interestingly enough. So, like so. So. And so. Forgot a step. And I have those backwards. Brush and inkstone. So, I use a book, which I have plenty of in this chest, I think. Yep. Like so. Do I put it down? Book. Uh, efficiency five. That's blast protection three. Um, it's interesting how it does this. Um, I'm actually. Those are some good looking books, but I don't think I'm actually losing experience. <laughs> like it brought me. I lost to here, but I didn't lose any more than that. This might be broken. Uh, I'll just toss all these away for now. I'll look into that, see if... Uh, and I'm going to be careful using that in case it is broken, because I don't really want to exploit something if it is. But uh, that's still kind of cool. Just like a free... Uh, borderline free sources of, of a bunch of nice enchantment books, because those were some pretty good stuff in there. So you can go back in there. I have to toss all this stuff away, and I guess I have to deal with a raid real quick. Uh, you can go in there. Which, which direction did it say the raid was coming from? Northwest, okay. You are not my priority. <laughs> I mean, you're scarier than most of the things happening in the raid, but still. Oh yeah, I didn't actually end up making any adjustments to raids just yet. That is still up for grabs, because last time we definitely ended up in a position where I had to cheat to find a raider because they were hiding, like, 32 blocks under the village or something like that. So, uh, that's all well and good. I still need to go on my exploration to, uh... That wasn't all the raiders. Yeah, I'm still planning on heading out in just a moment to try and hunt down an admiral stamp. But uh, I did, or I have found a guide to uh, help us out somewhat with, uh, what's, uh, slash blades, <laughs> which are hard. So I went looking online and I found information that'll be helpful for continuing on with slash blades. So I'm just gonna dump all this stuff I don't need in anyways, and that will go to the enchanter in a moment. So we currently only have the regular slash blade. It is still sealed. Everything's fine there. This, I didn't actually need to look up this part. It was just already in my inventory. Really? I'm going to need to sleep to get rid of, to hopefully get less geist coming at me, but that's never happened before. Bleep. Anyways, we have the basic slash blade here. We've just followed down like the basic buildable pathway so far. This, I was correct, you do unseal it by naming it. It just didn't properly show up there. I, I still need to do that, though. And when you seal, it apparently gets a new power-up, so we're going to check that out in a moment. But uh, this basic one can be upgraded into the Yuzuki Tukumo, or the Muramasa. To get Muramasa, you need 10,000 Proud Soul and a bunch of refines, and just a whole bunch of Broken Blade Spears, which are made from this, which is made from iron and things. It's, there's a lot, there is a lot to go through to get to this thing. You, you need a lot of resources, just keep breaking the blade, keep using the resources to reforge the blade. Then also, if you have a fire aspect slash blade with a thousand kills, you can upgrade it into the Yuzuki Tukumo. Which is cool, like this thing has multiple uh, upgrade paths. But there are the other blades, like the more special blades. That's where stuff like the Agoto Rust Soul comes in. Apparently, if I mix, if I get two other blades, I'm not going to do this slash blade, I don't think. I still need to repair it, though. Like, I think this, what I have in mind should work. If I grab out these planks, if I just go make two more Anonymy Woods, I think I'm going to need to upgrade them into their higher form, like the first step up, though. 
so, like so, two wooden blades. These both need one damage done to them. Uh, and just like a single chicken somewheres. I apparently clear out this little area. Okay, chicken. Chicken. There we go. They both have one damage done to them. I can then go get a crafting table and turn these into anonymity woods. Like so. Doop doop. Anonymy wood. And anonymy wood. We now have these. Does this work? No. Supposedly, I should be able to mix two blades together in order to acquire an anonymy nameless, which you then use the rustle with to make whatever soul is named there. So we have an Agito Rust Blade. That an Akito Rust Soul. If we if we use that in a thing with an anonymy nameless, does this work? No, it doesn't. Maybe I have to break them. I have no idea. I, the gu the guide isn't super helpful. It's basically just the uh, it's just like a brief description along with a picture of the crafting grid. And for anonymy nameless, it just says crap. Uh, ambiguous crafting to drawn blades because or bato ken because once again this much like shinjufu is a japanese mod that i am translating the guide into english for not exactly the most helpful so apparently i can turn these into a anonymy nameless somehow i don't fully know but i'm going to need another I have anvils laying around somewhere. There we go. I think I actually have more than that. I've picked up a couple of them. So where are the rest? Oh, there's another one. All well and cool. So just put this down here instead. Does that get me? No, that's just another sharpness white. Does this get me anonymy nameless? No, that's just another sharpness white. <laughs> huh. How? Let me recheck this guide real quick, because... I, I want to try a cool thing. So one sec, let me reread this. Okay, so I tried putting the two sharpness whites together and I just got one sharpness white out of it. So I figured I'd go test another thing. So I just went and broke sharpness white. Let's try turning you into a proper slash blade. But to do that, we're going to need a blade soul sphere, which needs a blade soul ingot, which is just an iron surrounding by proud souls. Thankfully, we're starting to collect those pretty quickly. I did also end up repairing our regular slash blade as well, just to note. But anyways, this gets us a blade soul. This gets smelted up into a blade soul orb, or whatever it's called. Like so. Blade soul sphere. Then I need a block of coal. I need a block of lapis. I need a string. I need a gold. And I'm feeling like I'm forgetting something. No, blaze rod. I, was like, I know there's one other thing, but I don't remember what. We're, we're going to test this, and then if this doesn't work, we're going to go run off and find the, try to find an Admiral Spear. Sp uh, sphere, not spear. Blah, those are very different things. Anyways, like so, 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 so. That, that. Those switch places. Did I get something wrong? Put those two in the wrong spot. Slash blade. Now when I add these together, I just get a slash blade. Do I at least get a good slash blade? No, it also loses its count, so that would be really bad. What if I do it in here? No, that doesn't work, period. This this, this is being a bit weird. No idea how that's actually supposed to work. I would like more info on it, and I'm just not getting it. No, uh, I guess that's something I'm going to have to look more into. So, I was really hoping to get Agito, but that's not going to happen right now. But I can at least name this some thing something. And that should unseal it, and then give it a bit of a power boost and a special ability. What am I going to call you? I could just copy, like, Muramasa or something, but, uh, no, you can actually get that, so I'm not going to do that. Um, cool sword names, cool sword names. Um, one second, let me think of something. Uh, 
this seems pretty. This this seems pretty fitting. Grimbane. Sure, I'm fine with it. And it is not unsealed. What are you on, game? <laughs> this guide is worthless. Um. Okay, never mind. I guess that didn't work. No idea what what I'm actually supposed to do there. One one second. Like, why didn't that work? Back to the guide one more time, and then we're off to something else. Okay, so I've even gone. I I looked up more guides, and of course, I I kept I found a couple of video guides that were either different versions or just not good videos. But um, <laughs> they were like very very poorly described of actually how to do everything, and one of them was one sixteen, and the information wasn't even accurate for this version. But uh, I think I have finally figured out how to unseal the blade. It, anatomy, uh, anom nameless, anatomy nameless, that's what it's called, is still out of the question for right now, but to unseal this, all I should have to do is enchant it. It's just, which book do I want to use? Um, if I grab out that sharpness, yeah, I'll use one of the books we got special, just because this will be pretty ex where did it go? Um, I used that thing to make... I, I used that uh, Shinjufu thing to make a bunch of... Enchantment books, and I thought one of them was, like... Well, yeah, one of them was, uh, like, Sharpness 5 or something. Where did it go? Um, uh, Aqua Infinity, Flame, Blast Protection... Am I... I could have sworn one of them was like a high level sharpness thing. Am I making that up, I guess? I don't know. Anyways, sharpness one will do. <laughs> but, uh, this. Bewitched. And now, okay, finally, we got something going. It gets no extra attack damage or anything, but it now gets the special ability slash dimension. And it is now bewitched. So Grimbane, Grimbane has finally been unsealed. Which is a cool thing. Oh, it actually, it needed to be unsealed with a thousand kills and Fire Aspect 1 to get Yukizuki. But apparently I... Tioken Muramasa. That's not what you were before. <laughs> like, why is that name changed? No idea. But anyways, we now have Grimbane, which is properly unsealed and now has a special ability. Which I can show off once I find an enemy. I'm just going to drop off these ancient tomes. And I think I'm good. I just have an extra slash blade lying around now. And eventually I will maybe figure out how to make the anonymity nameless <laughs> sometimes. But uh, that that's enough messing around with this for right now. I still want to go see if we can't find a... What's it called? Uh... Admiral Snap. I think I've mostly cleared out this city fairly well. So... Let's actually go back to base. It's been a while since we've been here. I still have a whole bunch of junk left in these. Might steal those books in that up in that enchanted book. But, uh, I'll leave it there for now. How long has it been since we've been here on a video? Like, I want to say it's been like 15 episodes since we actually we're in this area but uh i have yet to clear out any of these buildings which means they should have and they should have chests which might have enchanted books in them or enchanted books what am i talking about no uh might have an admiral stamp that is just coal that is not an admiral stamp and i saw that death stalker up on the top level does this have lower floors it does this death stalker probably how much health do you have? 1,300? How do you have that much health? Uh, you shouldn't have spawned in... in unless you just spawned in now, somehow. But uh, it hit me once. Thankfully, Wither just ran out. I just broke Yamato again. Or, not Yamato. This is not Yamato. <laughs> this is my Slash Blade. What is that second thing I just got? I'm not entirely sure. But I'm just going to finish killing off this thing real quick. It's going to take me a minute. There we go, it's dead. That took a while. And all we got out of it was some, like, basic charms again. What is this? Home Forged... 
<laughs> okay. We just got a proud soul enchanted. Ooh, we got another of the souls that we need uh, Anatomy Nameless for. Too bad we don't have Anatomy Nameless yet. But, uh, we got a proud soul enchanted with a rifle barreling. Nice. That's not supposed to happen. That was the perfect time to test out the special ability, but I forgot completely about it. Whoops. How does this work? I'm s I think I'm supposed to right-click and hold? Maybe it has to be unbroken? Take aim. Not entirely sure how I just got that achievement, but okay. You can go right away. How does this special ability work? Slash dimension. When I was reading, I think it said that I'm supposed to right click and hold to activate the special abilities. Where is... that is all the way at the bottom here. Style action is... yeah, style action is this. Right click and hold. This is supposed to... From what I was reading, this is supposed to use 20 Proud Souls, and then you a slash dimension special ability. But I don't- it doesn't appear to be working right this second. Maybe I need to repair it first. Let's make sure we're somewhere safe. Answer! We are not somewhere safe. But neither are these zombies. <laughs> I am a- I am a walking blender. Okay. This sword... I might end up very quickly abusing this sword. I might have to, uh, might have to stop myself from exclusively using this weapon. Because this is very powerful. Like, I am now beating bosses no problem that have killed me since the beginning. Oh, this zombie has over 500, uh, just about 500 health. Time, time to switch to this weapon for just a moment. Ow. Oh, I am out of food. That is... A mind that is somewhat of an issue. <laughs> Can you die, please? Go away. I want to get to the chest. Completely empty. Fun. Thanks. Much fun. Much wow. Why are you suddenly unbroken? Oh, I am out of experience. I. Oh. Okay. So, this is something I had read about, but wasn't entirely sure how it worked. So, there are certain blades that will automatically repair themselves using your experience if they're not in your hand. I didn't realize that the regular slash blade was one of them. You can all go right away. So, I guess I don't have to spend as much time fixing this thing up anymore, but I am going to be using a lot of my experience. Rude. Just keep slashing. Ooh, we got more proud souls there. Does that mean y'all- does that mean slash blade just broke? Yes, it does. Go away, the lot of you. And we're now losing an ex a level of seconds. And that barely, that's going to fix up our slash blade for like a second. More proud souls, another tiny proud soul with a rifle barreling on it. Okay then. So, uh, Grimbane is. Grimbane has become, very quickly become a very expensive tool to use. This. This is. might be an issue. Oh, that's so many spiders! So many spiders! <laughs> Leave me alone, please! I am a walking blender! <laughs> ah! This... I'll see you when I hopefully get out of this. Okay, I'm free. Let's see if I can't make this work. Uh, dimensional slash! There we go! That did, like, no damage. I think that thing was already fairly low health, because I've already been smacking at it for a while. Dimensional Slash! Okay, that looks really cool. And it's very long range, but not exactly the most efficient use of my Proud Souls. 
Hold on, that thing is gaining proud souls as it repairs itself. That is cool. Should I feel like it should be losing proud souls to repair itself, but okay. Ow, how am I even your range? Rude. Fine. I tried using a different weapon for a second. But uh the constant blocking as well as constant uh attacking with the slash blade is too too strong to pass up. Ow. Ow, where did, where did you lot come from? There are there I didn't realize there were zombie spawners in this area. Ah, uh, This is not going amazingly well. I have a very powerful new weapon, and I am still on the run most of the time. But, uh, hope... But I'm, I'm still here on a mission. I am still going to find the Admiral Stamp, hopefully assuming it will actually spawn in this thing. I'm just going to continue clearing this out, and I'll see you... Hopefully with results, it might be a problem where it's not spawning properly because I don't have regular mine shafts and I don't have, uh, and these don't follow the same rules as with all of their chests. Like some of them are empty and some of them might just have like different loot tables. So it might be a problem where one of the mods has made it so they won't spawn in some of these chests. And if that's the case, I might just end up spawning the thing in. But I, I'll, I'll wait, see if I can't legitimately find it first. But anyways, I'm just going to keep hunting for a little bit longer. Okay, so uh, clearing this place off, clearing this place out, blah, was a bit of a wash. <laughs> like, I only found two or three chests, period, that had anything in them, let alone what I was looking for. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to keep at it. Um, these things might not e these things don't spawn many chests with things in them apparently anyways and I if it can spawn here I just I've just gotten super unlucky so I'll keep attempting some of these buildings hopefully one of them will give me the thing and I'm just gonna be on the lookout for more uh, uh for more what are they called mine shafts but as it stands it's looking like if I want this thing I, I might have to cheat it in because uh it's, it's not really working out just finding one naturally. Ow. But, um, my, both my legs are now broken. But anyways, there's one more cool thing I learned. I had seen something about this in the guide I was looking at, but I didn't w quite know how to do it. Because I tried it with this slash blade, and it just does that. But when I throw this slash blade on the ground, it looks like this now. <laughs> I'm assuming because it's now unsealed... It's very cool. It's literally as tall as I am. It's awesome. And now I just right click on it again and Grim's Bane gets back into my hand. And I could just get like a whole bunch of blades and store them all like that. I wonder if a rust blade could do that. I really want to get a rust blade. I've just gotten really unlucky with that so far. I've seen some zombies with them, but no none of them have ever dropped a thing. And apparently withers have a chance I'm not sure if it's Withers or Wither Skeletons. Like, the guide was translated, and I'm not sure if it was translated correctly when it said just Wither. Like, it, it, it could go either way. I'm not sure yet. I've never seen one. But apparently, they also have a chance to do the same thing and drop their special blade. And it would be really cool to get a hold of one. And, of course, and apparently the Ender Dragon is also how you get Yamato. But we'll have to see about that, because I don't even have Eyes of Ender yet. Because nothing drops Ender Pearls. I've turned off Endermen. I might have to turn them back on, but then it might be an issue where we only see Endermen. But, um, anyways, I think that's where we're going to end off for today. So I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed as much as I have, and I hope to see you next time. So, without further ado, take care, everybody.